We got smoke. We got freaking smoke. Hello Wobblies. Welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode I'm making a pump drill style fire starter. This is my first time to ever try to make a friction wood style fire starter. So hopefully by the end of the video we will have some sort of fire. I don't know how well this is going to work. top we have a notch where we'll put our bank line then we work our way down it's fairly slender at the top and then we have a wider area or hopefully our counterbalance will slide down and be able to stop against that so from there we come down to a taper possibly too small of a taper to a tip all right next let's work on our crossbar this will have a spindle going through the center of it and it will have a place where the line can attach to each end.
I got smoke. We got freaking smoke. Come on, come on. No, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. start a fire? Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, I don't know how this works. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Are you smoking? Come on, baby. Keep turning. came out. Dang it. No more slip. Here's our new spindle out of the yucca. Slightly tapered at the end, very slightly. More blunt and certainly wider than our previous spindle. And here's our flywheel. We've got the bank line tied on the top. So suffice to say, I haven't been successful in getting my wood to wood friction of fire to burn with the pump drill. So what I'm going to do instead, because I'm determined to have some kind of friction fire for this video. So I'm going to use the method that uses uh, cotton with ashes and then do the cotton roll of it uh, with different materials. Have the cotton balls 
and the ashes here. The ashes are just from our fireplace. And then I have two two by fours I'm gonna try first. If I can manage to get friction fire with the two by fours, then I have some other things I'm gonna try as well that might be more of a natural, in nature, anywhere available kind of things. Fingers crossed that we'll have some success. And smoke. Holy oh, I mean, oh, I have to bleep it. <gasps> we have smoke. We have smoke. I can't believe it. We have smoke. Oh my gosh, it totally worked. I did it again. Just have to give it time. So it's burning through. You can see there's the light. You can see. See how it's burning through? But when you first stop, you can't see that at all. You can't even see any smoke. But then the smoke starts to come through. And it's so cool. Tiny amount of stuff. There it goes. Wind help. Thanks, wind. 
have fire. Ah! Okay. And it's working. It's burning. Come on. Keep going. Let's see if we can do more in the middle. I think I may have ground that one into non existence. smoke so we successfully did with a stump and a piece of a stick a log Thank you. We have smoke. I think I'll quit on this one. So when I started all this, I thought that a pump drill fire starter would be easier than a bow drill. I was wrong. I went back and read John Plant's blog post that accompanied his video that he made about the pump drill fire starter and he said that it took him all of one afternoon to make fire with it. That's a pretty big deal because he's very adept at starting a fire with sticks just with his hands. So that tells me just how difficult it is to use a pump drill style fire starter and I have to do this every time I say pump drill style fire starter. So I think in my journey for learning how to start friction fires, my next step will be to practice with a bow drill. And now I understand even more why people get so excited when they create their very first ember with two sticks. It's a challenge. It takes time. It takes technique. And I dare say there's some art involved. In the description below, I'll put links to the different videos that I referenced in trying to learn how to do all of these processes as well as the blog post of Primitive Technology, John Plant. Special thanks to David West for his recent video on the cotton roll fire starting method. His demonstration literally saved the day by giving me another option for making friction fire. And in the comments, let me know what you think. I am open to any and all of your suggestions, your critiques, things that you've tried that worked or didn't work, and what you've learned in your experience with starting fires. I've learned that a lighter is a pretty good option. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.